Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to patch DWM and Simple Terminal to your liking. So I'm going to assume you've already installed Arch Linux or following my Arch Linux install tutorial. I'll stick a card in the top right hand corner and a link to the video in the description below to point to that video. So what we're going to do is we're going to download and install DWM and Simple Terminal. Now to do that, we have to get clone it from the Suckless website. To do that, we'd have to just do https colon slash slash. Wrong. We have to do git clone. Remember to do that part. Slash slash uh, git dot suckless dot org slash dwm. And the same for simple terminal. And now once those have been downloaded, we can just do start x. And here we have strange looking thing now none of this has been changed except for this little orange bar here there was a previous recording attempt where it was recording the wrong thing i didn't realize until i finished that was a small oversight but as we can see this has been changed i'll show you how to do it later on in the video but first what we're going to do is we're going to leave star text for our alt shift and q to kill it and wait for this to finish and we're going to clear the screen First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the DWM directory and change the font. So CD DWM, and that's going to be vim config.h. Once we're inside the config file, as you can see, there are a couple of things here. First off, as we can see, there is a thing to how to change the font for DWM is here with asterisk fonts square brackets. Now, what you can see here, this just the, is wanting to use the monospace fonts and then size pixel size of 10 nothing too big nothing too small a nice size now as you can see here uh, d menu as well i'm not using d menu in the scenario so i can just ignore the d menu thing so let's make a couple changes here shall we let's change the font so to do that we'll just hit insert on the keyboard and then the font vim will respond eventually there we go and now let's change this to something i oh, know let's change it to let's change it to aldo the apache so to do that we just call it aldo the apache you're probably wondering nick what is aldo the apache well that is a font that i found that i use in a couple places so we'll use that for this example so we we'll change that to aldo the apache Control c colon right quit and now to go as you can see here, if we just do start X, we have an orange bar, nothing's changed. This is still using the monospace font. It also says, you also see this has one, one and two, and not nine. This is running from the previous video that I recorded and didn't, I recorded the wrong thing. So I'll show you some scratch anyway. As you can see, this looks boring and just general blank. So to get out of here, we do shift alt and Q. Before we can do a make clean install, which then make dwm from scratch we need to go grab the font and install it in the correct place now the correct place for that would be cd slash user slash share slash fonts now we're in the correct folder we need to clone the aldo the apache font from my github and that would do, be doing the follow so git clone help if I spell clone correctly uh https colon four slash four slash github.com slash nmat1 slash aldo this is going to download the aldo font so we now need to cd into aldo and now as we can see here we have two things a .git file and aldo the apache.ttf so what we want to do is we just want to copy aldo the aldo the apache to slash user slash share slash fonts and just a quick la that is still there but if we go back down one do the same again get to list of the directory we now see aldo the apache.ttf and we can remove the aldo file folder so we're just going to do rm hyphen r to say hey look remove this recursively so it removes everything and the directory aldo Problem solved. No more Aldo the Apache. 
no, more Aldo folder, should I say. Now we have Aldo the Apache. We now need to CD back down to DWM. So CD DWM, make clean install. That's now rewritten it and reinstalled a DWM. To show you that, we'll just do start X. This has changed. Our bar is now blank. The font has now changed. This is a weird looking font, but it works. Now, if I were to show you, oh, I don't know, the terminal, simple terminal, this has not changed. That is fine. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do get out of here and make some changes to simple terminal. Now, admittedly, this is not too hard. This can be done by anyone. But once you make changes, you need to remember what to do. You need to remember to do make clean install every single time you make a change. Because if you don't do that, then suddenly things won't work. Things will just look the same and you'll be wondering, why isn't this worked? Let me go consult a guide. You just have to remember to do make clean install every single time. Now this has happened because when I uh, uh, QA, oh I want to do QA I don't want to do that so leave here so now we just need to double check okay so we do have a config.def.h so if whenever you do vim config.h and it doesn't show up shows up like an empty file like that all you need to do is just do copy config def.h2 not that config.h and now do vim config.h we have a working file this looks correct this time around now as you can as you saw with the font it's liberation mono let's change it to something else not aldo the apache this time we will change it to mono space so it'll just be easy just going down to it hitting insert on the keyboard and it's doing monospace with the correct format and we'll change it to a font size of 14. quick easy it's simple it just works so we're just going to do Control c right quit and i'll show you what it looks like without the changes first so start x this is what dwm looks like alt shift enter this is what it looks like before the changes so just do a quick test yep this is how it looks rolling so now we know what it looks like so we need to leave the desktop by doing alt shift q that says hey look kill it with fire it's been killed so now i need to do make clean install that's going to rebuild the packages now remember whenever you make any changes to this it is your own fork of dwm or st or anything that you make changes to it's your own fork so it might not be supported now this has changed so this is looking different now as you can see it looks like monospace as dwm was with standard beforehand so now if i just type well now if i just go alt shift enter and then just do firefox because i already had firefox installed beforehand it'll then just kick into gear in a couple of seconds and now i have a working firefox and now kill it all so let's make some changes to dwm for example so to do that we do cd dot dot slash dwm so it's then saying hey look move to this directory move down one and then move back up one and now we do vim config.h so as we know this is working so we decide we want to change one of the columns oh no we'll change column one for example we might not know what that is so we'll just get rid of that and we'll change it to the ubuntu orange now to do that we need the bun the ubuntu hexadecimal code i already have that so it's dd4814 and let's change column two while we're at it let's change it to the uh let's change it to the arch blue the arch blue is the following code 1793d1 and we'll just call it there for the time being so just going to do Control c colon right quit make clean and we'll just show show you what it looks like beforehand so start x this is what it looks like exit out of there and we'll do make clean install this is going hey look there's been changes made and then we'll go 
Hey, look. Ta-da. Changes have been made. So now these are different. These look different, and this is what it looks like. So we've decided we don't need nine separate desktops. We don't, we don't need that many. That's excessive. So to do that, it's just Alt-Shift-Q, get out of there. And the observant of you would have already spotted it. You would have spotted it down here. It's called tags. We've decided we don't need nine. We only want two. So just hit insert. Get rid of them all. Come down here and go, okay, I don't want any more. That's fine. So just scrolling through and we decided, hey, look, here's how I would change some of the modifiers to make things a bit. So to kill the client, as you can see here, it's mod key, shift, and then Q to change it. Well, to, to kill the client. That works. We know it works. We don't want to touch that. So you can just change it. If you know what the, key, the keys are and what the names are, you can just have it change and do whatever you want with it. But in this scenario, we've decided, hey, look, I, I only just want to get rid of the tags. This, this nine desktops is far too many for me. I don't need that much. Of course, you can come back here in the future and change it all around. Add, add, uh, you can add, uh, add up to nine, but no more than nine. So we decided this works. This is fine for me. Control shift and then right quit and then make a clean install again. We decided this works for me. I don't need anything more. We have this. So that's how you go about modifying and patching DWM and simple terminal now you can do all sorts of things you can add in a status bar on the right hand side that'll be a video i do later on in the future as well as change how simple terminal does things but that'll be it for this video i'd like to thank you very much for watching i'd like to thank the patreons reigning hazmat and ashley for being subscribed over at patreon i'd like to thank you for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the like and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video they all come out around on Saturday between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. So keep an eye out for them if you're not if you're not part of the notification squad. I'd like to thank you. Very, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.